Okay, I wanted to do this review. This is my influencer box, and I this is my first box. And so I'm going to show you everything that's in the box, and then we're actually going to try some of the stuff today. And I'll let you know what I think about it and if it's worth you getting it. Um, in my in my opinion. So the first thing is it's this Twinnings um, lemon and ginger tea. I always stick with Yogi tea just because I know it doesn't have pesticides in it. I don't know about this tea if it has pesticides in it. It says that it doesn't, and it says it's a hundred percent organic. So or hold on. Um, I wanted to say it said that. No, it doesn't say that actually. Um, okay, so we're gonna try it. Like all the ingredients you can read in it actually, like it doesn't have like weird named ingredients like stuff like that. So that's good. But okay, here's the tea. I already made it. Where's my little cup? The Starbucks, the mermaid. Okay, here we go. Ginger and lemon. It's good. It's actually really refreshing. I could really see myself doing this because I'm not a lemonade drinker. So I really would see myself drinking this and this I have, ginger has a lot of health benefits and so does lemon so um, I feel like this would kind of wake you up like kind of like peppermint tea or green tea I like green tea a lot so I don't think that I would change from green tea but yeah I would definitely um, yeah I would get this it's really good okay the next thing is these lavender basalts I love the packaging. I think it's so cute. I love these crystals, how it looks like it has crystals. I love that, so cute. Um, so I think that's really cool. It's lavender, I love lavender. I like the black packaging. I just, I, I love this. I would definitely would buy this. Um, we'll go ahead and smell it. Now it's it's uh, $10 or it's $9.99 for four pounds. And I went ahead and grabbed this because I just bought this the other day. And I got four pounds for four dollars. So these ones are really good. I love Epsom salts because I like taking like it's relaxing. If, like if I ever get a, a menstrual migraine, like I get those. So um, I like to take Epsom salts. They're good if you have like a really um, a good workout. Uh, they're detoxing. There's so many health benefits of Epsom salts. And then it's so funny because I was actually looking at these and it actually says that you can put them in different, um, like with planting and that you, it could be a plant food supplement, which I didn't even know that, which is really cool and interesting. Like you can do tomatoes, roses, lawns, trees, and it tells you exactly how much to do. Um, but yeah, like I said, I got these for $4, so I don't know if I would spend the $10 for two pounds because you get two pounds. Um, but I think like if I was going to give it as a gift, like I would definitely buy it for a gift. Like if I was going to do like a little gift basket, I would buy these versus over this, you know, unless I was going to put that in like a mason jar and do a little gift basket. But if I didn't have time to do that, then I would definitely buy these for sure. Um, just because like I just love the packaging so much. Uh, yeah, and then you could relax. Like it says, release stress. That's so true. Uh, you can uh, soften your skin, exfoliate, you know, like your legs and stuff like that. So, yeah, I really like the smell of them. I just, I think they're so cool. Yeah, I definitely, I will try these, but I know I'm going to love them. And I like, actually these, I like the way that the salts look I don't know if you can see it but they're kind of like longer instead of it actually they actually do look like crystals like they're like little I don't know I want to say shards but yeah because some of them are like powdery looking like I think that's how these are I don't know if I can open them I'll try these ones actually look like there is like some little shard things I don't know if you can see I'll try to get in the camera there are some but some of it's kind of powdery but I was just kind of curious, like, how the difference, you know? Um, and let's look at the ingredients. This one's 9.8. This one just says 100% magnesium sulfate. So, yeah, and this one actually has a little bit different stuff. It has, um, I don't know, it says derived from magnesium sulfate, magnesium, and then, and then it says sulfur. So, this has sulfur in it. So, anyways, yeah, so, um, yeah. 
So it says soak for 20 minutes. I like how the picture's on the back. That's really cute. So yeah, I give this a thumbs, thumbs up. I give the tea a thumbs up. Okay, so next we're gonna try this out. It's called Vera Wang Embrace. It's a perfume. I always like perfumes that smell like cupcakes and cookies and cakes and stuff like that. I don't want into that kind of stuff, but I just love the smell. Like I love candles that smell like that. So this is like more of a for a uh, fruity floral fragrance. So I'm actually really excited. This is a uh, marigold and gardenia. I think I'm saying that right. And um, along with creaminess of soft musk. So this would be like a really cool spring scent. Um, we're gonna try it. I'm smelling it first. Okay. Ah, okay. This reminds me of a scent that I don't know. I feel like I used to have a scent like this, but I think this is brand new. But I can say not to like actually. I don't think you're supposed to smear it. It's supposed to like mess up the scent, but I don't know. I actually like the smell. I don't think I would. This sounds like it smells like something my mom would wear, but I I don't I don't think that I would personally like. If someone gave it to me as a gift, like maybe, but I don't really like. I don't know. That smells good. Like if I had a smell on somebody else, but not on me, because I get really sensitive, like I said, with headaches. So I feel like this would be kind of. Um, I don't want to say anything bad about it, but it's just not for me. But it, it smells nice, but I wouldn't want to have to wear it on myself. You know what I mean? But if somebody walked by with the scent, like I, that would be fine. But like having to wear it all day long, like I just wouldn't do it. It's kind of strong, actually. But like, I don't know, I just like, so, it's so perfumey. <laughs> you know, it's, it sounds weird to say that, but it really is. Okay, so this one is um, Quinoa by Success. Okay, I actually, there's some quinoa that I was always getting. Oh, it's mixed with brown rice, but I was getting it at Costco, and it's super easy, and you put it in for like a minute, and I fell in love with those, but they only sell at Costco, or I've only been able to find them at Costco. So um, I found these. I actually have these in my pantry, but they actually sent them to me in the box, but the ones in my pantry I hadn't even tried yet, but it forced me to, like, open them up because I was like, okay, well, I already have that, so I'll try the ones that have been in the pantry, but they're brand new. They're literally brand new, but, um, so I literally just made it, so we are going to try, I love quinoa. Quinoa is really good for, like, if you're looking for protein, um, trying to get protein. If you're a vegan or a vegetarian, it's a good source of protein, um, so we're going to try this. It was very simple to make, um, it's not as easy as the microwave for a minute thing, but, um, you literally do it for 10 minutes or uh, you can add one to two if you like it extra fluffy. Um, so it'll be like 12, 11 or 12 minutes if you like it fluffy. Um, but, and you can either microwave it for 15 if you have to put like it in a glass bowl, put a top on it. I actually did on the stove. You just put it on the stove and do it for 10 minutes. Um, so here we go. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's really good. Yeah, I like it. Okay, the next thing is, I feel like I could have done it a little bit more fluffier, but I think that's my my fault. But um, it's good. I mean, especially if you like quinoa, or you're looking for a good source of protein, it's really good. And it was like I said, it was easy to make. Like I could just drop it in a pan walk away for a bit, set a timer, and then it's done. So that's really cool. Um, okay, so this is um, Main Magic 10, um, 10 in 1 Primer. Oh, let me do this real fast. Okay, so the um, this success, it retails for $2.36, and you get... Four, four bags so that's actually a really good deal um these uh this is just like a they give you a sample thing to try um or they gave me a sample thing to try okay this you get 20 
bags of these for $3.19, which is normal for tea. Um, I think Yogi is actually a little bit more expensive. Okay, so this is the next thing. This is the Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer. It has argan oil, sunflower seed oil. It's for all hair types. Um, that's one thing I, yeah, oils are really good for your hair. Um, so let's see the directions. Okay, the directions are so small. And I think, okay, this is probably a smaller version of what they actually sell. Okay, six ounces is what they actually sell. This is one ounce. So obviously it would, the directions would be a little bit, uh, bigger. <laughs> okay. So this one says it's a hair primer. It detangles, it nourishes, it softens, it straight, um, strengthens, cuts drying time. That's cool. Adds shine, reduces frizz and protects against thermal, environmental and UV damage. That's awesome because I love going to the pool and I don't always want to wear a hat all the time. So that's really cool that it will protect me from UV damage. Um, cause the sun can be really damaging, um, on your hair. Uh, that's why like, especially if you're a man too, like you can bald really easily and even women, I mean, that happens to women too. It's not as, you know, common, but it could happen. So it's good to protect your, if you're going to be out in the sun a lot, just to wear a hat so you don't lose your hair. Um, and then also biotin helps with that. I want to do a whole hair video actually, to be honest with you. So anyways, um, okay. So argan oil feeds your hair with vitamins and nutrients. Well, the sunflower seed oil repairs, nourishes and protects. Okay. I always check my products on this, um, app. So I'm going to check that real fast. Okay, so like I said, I've checked the, um, I have an app, and I might actually do a video on it. Um, comment below if you would like to see the app, but anyways, it's basically an app that it rates the products and tells you how clean or dirty they are. So from uh, zero being the cleanest and 10 being the dirtiest, uh, they didn't actually have this product on there, but they did have a hair mask product and other products. And those all rate, uh, were rated as seven. 10 is, like I said, 10 is the dirtiest. So this is like toxicity, allergens, different stuff like that. Um, but like I said, the, this specific one wasn't on there, but like I said, they did have a hair mask and all the other products were rating seven. So, um, I get really picky about what I, what kind of products I use in my hair. Cause I don't want like a bunch of toxins and stuff in my hair. Um, cause it's just not good for your hair and cause breakage and damage and it's just not good. So, um, but I'm still going to review this, um, anyways. <laughs> so, um, okay. So let's see. First, we're going to smell it. It smells really good and it does smell like argon, argon oil. I can totally smell the oil and I mean the ingredients. Like I said, it's so small. Okay, some of the ingredients I really can't pronounce, so it could be those toxic things. Um, but the other thing, like I said, um, it does say argon and sunflower seed butter. And it says fragrance, so I don't really know. Um, I'm scared to even put on my hair. I'm going to do it for you guys. <laughs> because I love y'all. So it will be good to um, kind of know how, it, if it's going to be like sticky or if it's going to be like greasy or flat, uh, make it flat. Cause it's like, I just washed it last night. So it has like a lot of bounce and body. So it, it's really good today. Um, so I guess let's uh, try it. I like uh, the sprayer on it. That's cool. It just like, does a nice mist instead of like shooting straight out. So I like that. And it smells good. I mean, it looks the same. I mean, I do kind of feel like the oil, but it's not too oily. Like, but I do kind of feel like. So I'm gonna go ahead and, because I don't know, um, if since I don't know like how toxic this is, I could guess that it's a seven, but I don't really know and I didn't see that. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a thumbs up until I know um, how toxic toxic it is. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to this, the perfume. 
Okay, if you like floral scents, you would love this scent, but since I don't like floral scents, um, this is just a no-go for me. Like I said from the very beginning, I, I like cupcake cookies and those t type of scents. Like, so, um, I'm not really a big fan of floral scents anyway, so, but if you're into that kind of stuff, then I think this would be a great perfume for you. Um, I would definitely go light on it, I mean, unless you want to go, but I would just do like a, like a nice little spritz and then call it a day. I mean, like I said, unless you really want it to be strong. Um, okay, I wanted to go back to, I know it's kind of weird, um, I wanted to go back to the quinoa. Just because, I like, if you've never tried quinoa before, I wanted to say, like, the consistency, like, how it kind of is. Um, so, it kind of tastes like rice, but not, um, and it's kind of seedy. And, like I said, it's, it's kind of fluffy. Um, and so, it's really good. I feel like if you wanted it to be a better source of protein for you, because it only has six grams of protein, uh, you could add beans to it. You could, uh, I believe... I'm almost 100%. I'm pretty sure I've published that. Okay, so like I said, so you you could do, so to make it like better a better source of protein, you could add beans to it um, because it only has six grams of protein. It has a lot of, of vitamins and it. it has potassium, it has magnesium, it has folate. I think I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. Iron, vitamin, no, it doesn't have any vitamin D. Um, it has 21 milligrams of calcium. I really should know how to say it. Folate, but I think it's folate, like folate acid. Anyways, um, it's been a long day. <laughs> but um, And magnesium, 71 milligrams. And phosphorus, 168 milligrams. So it has, like, it has no sugars. Actually, no, it has one gram of sugar, but it doesn't taste sugary, so that's good. Um... Sodium, the sodium's really low, so that's good because sodium sodium bloats you. Um, yeah, so that's really good. Uh, like I said, you could. Um, okay, I think I did a blog on this. I'm ninety nine percent sure. I know I did a blog on it. I'm ninety nine percent sure that it's actually been published blog on my Fairy Tale Fit page. Um, that's just like my overall website because that's the name of my company. So I just um, name my website that, and then I put all my stuff on it, even though. Um, my company's name is that I just put all my health and fitness stuff on there. So, and it's just kind of my one stop shop for every all my coaching, personal training, nutritionist stuff. So, um, but anyways, <laughs> you can do salads, you could add like cucumbers and tomatoes to it, which would be really good. Um, you could do like a Mexican theme if you wanted to do like, uh, I don't know. Like, I guess if you're trying to go vegan, you wouldn't want to add chicken, but, um, like, you could do beans and tomatoes and, um, cilantro. If you're into cilantro, some people don't like cilantro, so you wouldn't do cilantro. <laughs> but, um, they have, like, recipes on the back, and it doesn't look very healthy because you're just adding brown sugar, um, maple syrup. Depends what maple syrup you're picking. But, anyways, they have, like, a breakfast thing. Like, you could turn it into breakfast, or you could do, like, a dinner. So, I like that. They're kind of giving you ideas. Um... You can connect with them on Instagram, Facebook. They probably have more in Pinterest, so they probably have more ideas that you could use this for. But yeah, like I said, um, you could do a salad. You could do, um, on my blog, um, I did a salad, a wrap. I added it to shrimp. Um, I added quinoa and shrimp and made it like a dinner. Um, so you could do like a lot of stuff with this. Um, and I, like I said, it's easy to make and yeah, so I give it a thumbs up. The only thing that I can't try that they gave me because we, we've tried everything else is this, um, hair mask. Oh, so they did. Okay. So this must've been the one, I think this is the one that I, they did, was on that app that I was telling y'all about. Um, I'm pretty sure. It's called Therapy Session. Let me double check on the app. Okay, I went back to look at my app because I remember I did see hair mask on there. Um, uh, but like I said, this Primer Magic, um, Main Magic was on there, but their product was, I actually never heard of this project, uh, product before. It would, it's called Eva NYC. I love the packaging. I think it's adorable. I like how it's kind of like this, um, watercolor it reminds me of watercolor 
and I love the col colors I picked. Pink's my favorite color. I love this co till color. This is the color of my bathroom. Um, actually, both my bathrooms, I have a half bath and then like a full bath upstairs. Um, I just, I love the packaging. It's so adorable. I love the packaging of this. Um, but I just looked it up and uh, to see if it was on my app, the app that I was telling you all about that is, it says like the toxins and um, there's this one that actually it looks up like if it has like cancerous type things like um, carcinogen, carcinogen, I don't know if I'm saying it right, sorry. <laughs> like I said, it's been a long day, but I've been training all day, but um, anyways, I was on there and it was a seven for that. So they're saying that there's cancer type things found in this and I can't recommend it to you because of that. Uh, like I said, I, want, I do want to do a hair, hair video and there is stuff that I actually use that has nothing in it, like bad, any bad stuff. It's all natural and I really, it's all natural and I really love it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to at least smell it, but I will never put this on my hair just because of the um, stuff that the ingredients that's in it, even though they have super cute packaging, if they could, um, you know, if, uh, hopefully I can get this open, um, if they could find cleaner ingredients to put in it, then I would definitely, definitely buy it because the packaging is, is adorable. And I love the concept of this protecting your um, hair from the sun. I love that idea. But like I said, all the products said seven. I, that wasn't on there. Um, like I said, 10 is the dirtiest. Zero is the cleanest. Um, like I still feel like my hair kind of looks the same. Like it doesn't look flat or like greasy. So that's good. Um, okay. This is for $14.99. You can get 16.9 ounces. I believe I pay, I just got a hair mask. I pay $12.99. I don't know how much I get. I don't think I get 16.9 ounces. Um, let me check for you guys. Okay, I just checked um, mine. I won't show it because I might actually do a hair video. If y'all are interested in seeing that, comment below because um, I really love this brand that I use. It's so good. Um, like, I don't know if you, um, if you follow me on Instagram or for friends on Instagram, or, um, if you kind of followed my NPC journey, you know that I got extensions and I was thinking I was going to have like so much damage in my hair and it like literally, I did not have any damage in my hair when I got them out, which is really good because sometimes you can get damage when you put those extensions in your hair, like the micro links, like that's what I got. And, um, but okay, so in my, the, like I said, you get 16, 16.9 ounces and for $15 in mine, I get for 12 ounces, I spent $12.99, which I could get it cheaper at Target. Um, for $9.99 but I actually got this at my beauty supply store and it was like right there so I was just I just got it and paid the extra money for it because it was right there and it was convenient so I was like I'll pay the extra three dollars not to have to go to Target because I'm already here at my beauty supply store so um yeah I mean the pro my pro price uh, my price point is really good on mine and like I said my stuff scores a zero on mine and it's I love it it works so good for my hair through that. Um, this stuff, like I said, it's a seven and I would never put this on my hair. I will smell it even though it has cancer <laughs> chemicals in it. <laughs> um, I will smell it even though it has cancer chemicals in it, but um, we'll go ahead and use this. But just to smell it, I mean, I, I don't know, like I guess, I don't, I feel bad just like not using like oh god it just squirted out like crazy so you could go through this product really fast maybe if I would have took it off a little bit better but I just shot out I mean you saw that like look how fast that shot out okay it smells really really good it kind of smells similar to what I use but 
like I said, it scored scored a seven. It might have some of some of the stuff like that I have in mind. We'll see what this one has in it. It smells so good. It really does. And like I said, the packaging is adorable. So if you're not, if you really don't care about that type of stuff, like products having chemicals and um, cancer causing stuff in it, or can things that could be linked with cancer in it, then this can last for 18 months. Um, they don't test it on animals. You can recycle this. So that's good. Um, let's see. This is a deep conditioning treatment, repairs and strengthens damage. Uh, argon, argon oil, again, has a feature hair with vitamins, nutrients. Well, the care of this, I don't know if I'm saying that right, um, delivers optimal anti-breakage benefits and is scientific, scientifically proven to dramatically increase strength and flexibility so yeah um that's it like i said it smells really good which must be the argon oil that i'm smelling um let's just feel the and see yeah it's really thick um yeah it, it feels like um it's not quite i don't want to, it reminds me of like crisco maybe like i've Gosh, I haven't seen Crisco since I was like a little kid. Um, I don't even use Crisco, but, uh, or like a lotion. It feels like a lotion. It's very thick um, consistency. So that's cool. So yeah, that's my, um, uh, it, like, and some people might be like, why am I, am I putting this on my channel? Cause um, really it's um, my channel is dedicated to health and fitness, health and wellness, health and beauty. And, um, like I said, these Epsom salts are great for, um, after a good workout, um, de-stress to detox. These are great. Um, this is a great, healthy, fast, quick meal. So that's really good. Teas are really good. Like I said, ginger has a lot of good health benefits. Um, I would like to check on my app. Um, I won't do it right now because I don't want to make this video super long for you guys. So if you... Um, want to see in the comments below about that app, you want me to do a video on that specific app, um, then I will, um, but yeah, I would like to see if this, um, how this twinning, um, rates on the app, um, I used to get it, but then like I said, I found out that Yogi Tea doesn't have any pesticides in it, and there was one more tea, but I just now always get Yogi Tea, so I can't even remember what the other tea was, um, and I love Yogi Tea, so um, just for that reason that it doesn't have the pesticides in it, because like I said, I try to keep everything that I put on my skin, my hair, and my body, like, really clean, and I just don't want to get, like, any, um, I'm just trying to preserve myself, so, um, yeah, that's what it's all about. <laughs> that's what it's all about, so that, this definitely, um, falls into health and fitness category, because I want to make sure that, not only the products I'm using, but the products that I'm recommending or the products that you're using are um, good products and um, keep, I'm saying um too much. Well, I guess I only said it a few times, but um, yeah. I just wanna make sure that we are all taking care of ourselves and um, anything that I'm recommending. I don't wanna recommend anything that can harm anybody or harm myself, um, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. I should be getting another one of these boxes and we will do the review. So yeah, uh, we were actually able to go through every single thing. So actually I'm really excited. So, uh, cause I was gonna, um, I probably can just put in the comments below instead of doing a whole separate video um, on these Epsom salts, I'll just put in the comments below and let y'all know like if I liked them or not. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love them. They smell amazing like lavender so um but i'll put in the comments section below so i'm not doing a whole video just for this like if it would have been like the hair mask because i would have actually tried the hair mask um uh that was the other thing so i would have probably done a video for these just these two things but since like you already know the verdict on this that i won't put this on my hair just because of the toxicity toxicity in it 
Um, so, um, yeah, so that's a no-go. So I will not do another video. Um, the next time I do another video, well, I'll definitely do more videos, but, um, I'll probably do, um, I'll do another one of these videos too. So anyways, comments in the section below, if you've tried quinoa and comment in the section below, what was your favorite product that I reviewed in this box? And anyways, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you found this um, video entertaining, uh, educational, or just a fun video. And if you want to see more of these, like I would love to hear from you guys. I love when you'll comment. Um, I just like connecting with you guys. I think this is like a, just a great way to connect with people that love health and fitness and health and wellness just as much as I do. And I love finding those people out in the world and I think that's just so cool so anyways thank you so much and I will see you guys later bye